Hey going. So recently, I've been using a lot of VR. It's so nice having the option to just escape from life. For example, I can stand inside my kitchen, but I'm actually outside in beautiful nature. It's great, I can just chill out here for hours. And then, if I get sick of that, I just go and walk and make my way outside into nature. But I'm actually in a beautiful kitchen making a pot of tea. It's great, I never actually have to exist anywhere or do anything, unlike the rest of life though, which involves so much effort always moving and doing things. So I thought I could combine virtual reality with the chores of life, so I never have to move a muscle ever again. Alrighty, I thought a good first chore to automate would be lawn mowing, as not a single person in existence enjoys that. Except Bailey, actually. And he only likes that because he's got a scythe. Scythe, scythe, scythe. Oi, 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 oi. Can I, have, can I have a go of the scythe? No. Then get your own scythe. Right. It's my scythe. Oi, come on. Let me just have a little go of the scythe. Oi. Oi. No, it's mine. No, let me have... Oi, come. Oi, come back here. Oi, leave my scythe alone. Let me have... But if you don't have a scythe, you're stuck pushing around a crappy lawnmower, which is hard to start, hard to fix, and most importantly, hard to look good using. But you already know how I'm going to fix this problem as you've read the title of this video. Mowing my stepsister's lawn in VR, 360 view. No, 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 wrong title. Turn my mower into a robot which I can control through VR. And the first thing I need to do is get a lawnmower I can take apart. And unfortunately, my family's saying I'm not allowed to destroy theirs. But they did give me permission to destroy a lawnmower only if it belongs to a drug dealer. And luckily, I know just the spot. What the heck? What is happening here? It's terrifying. So after grabbing the caterpillar covered mower from the dealer's house, I attempted to start it. And for some reason thought it would just work. But no matter how many angles and ways I tried to persuade it, I just could not turn it on. So I started to take it apart and immediately noticed the air filter was clogged with grass and weird webbing, probably from those caterpillars I saw. And luckily I remembered that I had previously bought an air filter for the lawnmower which powered my giant Beyblade. So I went back to the drug house and grabbed the air filter. And this should fit as it's the same size, but I just need to paint it the same colour to make sure the lawnmower accepts it. And now it works. Kind of. It snapped off the cord. So after reattaching the pull cord, I reckon this lawnmower is ready to be turned into a robot. And this would take me months by myself, so I decided to take it down to a guy that can just do it all for me. Angus from Maker's Muse has been making robots including BattleBots since before he was born. But sadly, after his involvement in a horrible Robot Wars accident and the war in Iraq, Angus was no longer allowed to make DeathBots and now mostly makes stuff with 3D printers on YouTube. So motorizing a lawnmower should be right up his ass. Alley. Up his alley. So the first thing we did was take the lawnmower apart and had a good look at it and then also had a good look at robotic lawnmowers that already existed on the internet and stole from them. Uh, let's just, let's steal this one. Yep, let's. Oh. And we reckon the best way to motorize the lawnmower is to combine it with an old person's mobility scooter. And that should actually be pretty easy since old people can't move very fast. Go, 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 go,
now that we had the scooter, we have to figure out some way to take it apart, which was strangely much easier than we expected. Well, I'm somehow hoping that this just kind of splits in half and we'll just be able to just take the back and just attach it to the lawnmower. Oh my God. Does it actually it fold? folds? Face around. <laughs> 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 That's so easy. <laughs> then we just had to take everything off to get to the motors. What do you reckon this is? I'm fine. I was looking at it and my mind went to like I a, think it's a diving yeah. platform. <laughs> if this is sitting in someone, your mate's scrapyard or whatever, that means someone probably had this and then they died and then no longer needed it. Or it broke, but I mean, it was still working, so they probably died, yeah. They probably died. <laughs> they probably and after finally ripping off the plastic cover, we exposed the big, sexy, strong motors that we were after. There we go. Yes. Nice. Do you reckon they got stuff in them still or not? No, they're empty. No, they've, they've been birthed. <laughs> He's going to touch them and it's just hundreds of spiders <laughs> crawl over our heads. <laughs> and these motors have inbuilt brakes that slow the scooter down. But unlike old people who love stopping a lot, we don't need them. So we took them off. Don't need that, see you later. Then once we ripped the motors out of the scooter, we roughly stuck all the electronic things together. And then Angus explained how all of this is gonna work. So what is, what's this guy? What does he do? So this is your ESC or electronic speed controller. And what this does, yep. it interfaces with your remote control receiver oh, and yep. your battery. So what yep. it does is it takes in the signals from the receiver yep. and the battery will send current through the speed controller. Okay. Oh, yep, okay, cool. And it will take the control current from the battery. Yep. And, it... and after a quick test to confirm what he said. And it doesn't matter which way you put it, because it just goes in reverse. Exactly, or... yeah. Nice. Am I able to try... If I try to stop it, is that bad? Okay. You won't get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it all seems to work. So now it was time to figure out how we are actually going to combine the mobility scooter and the lawnmower. We should, um try to get these wheels as close as possible to these wheels, we reckon. And we decided to build a pretty simple frame, which would rely entirely on my crappy welding skills. Also welding to a thing full of petrol doesn't that, sound like That's more fun, best. I reckon we should do that. <laughs> I want to do it. So Angus cut a piece of square tube just a bit wider than the mower, nice. and then we marked where the new wheels and motor would sit on the tube. It's a very quiet drill press. It's really nice. Whoa. It's geared down really low. Is that what you want for metal usually? You want a low speed? Yeah, really slow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I've been doing wrong my whole life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, uh, otherwise it overheats. That's the thing. It's like, because it's a YouTube video, we only need it to work once for camera, and then we just I just pretend and say, yes, it works perfectly. Pretty good, we gave ourselves tons of, tons of clearance, which is actually good. That is good, that's yeah. Before, removing the dirt and grass from the mower so we could weld the frame and wheels in place. There's so much grass on it. What sort of grass do you reckon it is? What kind? Yeah. Um, maybe buffalo? Buffalo grass? Can you give it a taste? Maybe kaiku? Well, let, me, let me try it. No, 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 it's definitely buffalo grass. Yeah. It's definitely buffalo grass. Yeah. It looks like a go-kart or yeah. something. That's sick. Tack here, tack here. And then... And then we see what it's like. See what it's like, yeah. I'm gonna look away. You gonna look away? Yeah. You don't wanna look... Oh, you're just putting on sunglasses. That works. Yes, it works. This is protects you from the... I'm just going to suck. It smells like mammy noodles or something. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe. strange. I don't know, see, I don't trust it enough to take the clamps off. I'll do one more around right here. Yeah, just in the middle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watch it just the whole thing snap off. <laughs> and then I also welded another short section of tube on each side to give more support to the mower. <laughs> I think I welded the clamp to the... Did you really? Oh, uh, did I? We also realized that the wheels currently on the motor suck, as we need wheels that can turn around on the spot. So we pulled the caster wheels off the mobility scooter, and then once they were off, we used the armrest of the scooter as the frame. 
they line so up with... I think they magically line up with the existing holes. That makes no sense. That's beautiful. Yeah. Let's do that. And, and it means less work. Chuck him here. And then cast it like that. And then angle grind everything that's in the way. Oh, yeah, because it, it just touches the bottom. It's almost like it wanted to be turned yeah. into a remote it control was lawnmower. It dream. It was. You could probably turn the wheel, can yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. Once the wheels were in place, Angus roughly installed the electronics, which didn't work at first. So he stole some stuff from an old retired battle bot to fix that. You're stealing it from your battle bot. <laughs> it might be in here. <laughs> so how do you connect that to that? Uh, so just... you turn this on, then turn that on. And it should. So like a Bluetooth speaker. So we need to figure out just quickly what is this side? I think it's... Like you said, we. You mean, you mean you. I <laughs> you, need to figure out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> That's better. Yes. Sick. That is so exciting. You're like a magician. This is amazing. It's just trial and error until it starts working. <laughs> That's so cool. Right, so let's put it on the ground and try it. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. It looks too big to move. It looks too big to be motorized. Come on, come on. Yes. Yeah. Something's dragging. Oh, let me tighten those bolts. Which ones? On that side. No, probably not. Oh, that one doesn't have a bolt. That is terrifying coming towards you. It almost looks a bit like a crab. <laughs> and it kind of works. It, it definitely moves, which is good enough for now. So I went back to mine to finish off the welds and reinforce it while Angus finished up the electronics. And at first I was considering taking these guards off the side so we can actually see the blade spinning and cutting and destroying stuff. But I decided that would actually be a really, really bad idea. As I've recently dropped and lost a bunch of knives in my grass. And I also have a lot of glass windows in my house and the two don't mix very well. And most of you probably don't know this, so I shouldn't be telling you now, but heaps of other people have already put robot lawnmowers together on YouTube. It actually seems to be the most common father and son bonding project out there. And I'm a bit nervous to finally break the news to Angus after all these years of confusion and him not knowing. But I'm sure it'll be nice to provide some closure. But even though people have already made robot lawnmowers before, it won't matter as ours is going to be very different as we are going to control it with a headset and camera. Speaking of which, I picked up this box of FPV goggle stuff, which should be exactly what I need to view and control the lawnmower. And now you can't say I copied other people. There is no other lawnmower out there that you can easily watch porn and cut your lawn at the same time. And now with this camera right on the front, it should give me a kind of FPV lawnmower perspective, really simulating what it's like to be a lawnmower, feeling every bump and tasting every blade of grass, allowing me to hopefully achieve the perfect mow. And I did think I would be able to just slap a camera on the mower, but I forgot that when it's gonna be on, it's gonna be vibrating like crazy. And after a quick test of putting the GoPro on the lawnmower, this footage is very unwatchable. It's literally worse than when your grandma with Parkinson's records a home video. Oh, it's interesting. The video doesn't show. There's a special setting. I can't remember what it is now. So I need to come up with some way to reduce the vibrations but I've come up with a cheap and easy solution using this ladder, which will allow me to climb up to my attic to grab this key, which will come in handy as it will allow me to open this door and grab this sponge, which will then help me. And I reckon if I get the sponge and just put the GoPro on top, it should reduce the vibrations. And after carefully putting it all together, it seems to work really well. This is me washing my dishes without the sponge. Now 
now with the sponge. You can see the sponge makes it much smoother and makes the footage usable. And the same sponge technique also worked well with my grandma. Look at that, not a vibration in sight. So after attaching a sponge to the front of the lawnmower, everything should be nice and stable now. Okay, so now that I've finished it up on my end, I called up Angus to see if he had finished the electronics. Hey dude, uh, have you finished with the electronic part? Yeah, the electronics are all sorted. I'll head to your place now. Yeah, nice, all right, I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. That is so cool. It it looks like a bomb now though. It looks it, so It's a bit sus. <laughs> it is a little bit sus with this thing on it as well. Yeah. Does this do it? Yeah, turn it Can on. I turn it on? Yeah, go. You put a light on it as well. Yeah, it's on Holy now. That is beautiful. This is I thought we would be able to use this in public though. Uh that's not anymore. Not anymore, no. no. People are gonna think it's like some new age terrorist attack or yeah. <laughs> something like that. And after attaching the bomb to the back and little camera to the front on the sponge, we should be good to go. Let's go mow the lawn. Please don't drive it straight into your car. I'll try not to. It's like minimum speed as well. It's pretty good, it, it feels heavy. Really? You can feel the weight even via, just wait, let me move the chair. <laughs> is there a delay at all or is it? You just don't care about my chairs. <laughs> Have you noticed my, my beautiful lawn? Yeah, it does need a trim. It does, I haven't trimmed it because I've been making the video, not because I'm lazy, it's specifically for this. So we got the lawnmower into the backyard and set it all up. And after a quick practice, it seems very easy to control. So easy to control, I'm willing to bet even a baby could do it. Sit down here, yep, there you go. Wow, and then I'm also gonna put this on you, okay? You ready? Ready? Oh. What do you see? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you got it stuck. You're going to fix it? No. Uh, Uncle uh, I'll fix it. Uncle uh, I'll fix it. Okay. And here is my first attempt with the mower turned on. What's the plan if something goes wrong? Because uh, it's going to be so noisy, I'm going to be in a completely I'll different dimension. I'll just attack you. Just attack me. Yeah. And at first I got off to a rough start as I ripped the starter cord out once again. But luckily it still managed to start first go. Then once I sat down and put on the goggles, it actually felt very intuitive to control. And it is a little jumpy, but from my crappy viewing angle, it seemed to be cutting the grass pretty well. Although I couldn't actually see how the grass looks behind me. And I'm not actually sure I've ever seen a GoPro used to film in this way before. If this doesn't make it into the GoPro best of 2021 craziest action cam compilations, I'm going to be very disappointed. You're losing parts of the mower. It's, it's falling apart. It's still cutting. Oh, you got. <laughs> don't, don't run over the air filter. And the mower doesn't really want to move through long grass, which is a problem. But I worked out a solution, which was to do the edges first and then slowly move in bit by bit. I like your strategy of going around the outside of one thing on the concrete. It's a good idea. And the mower actually managed to cut the grass really well until some user error came into play and I drove it straight into some sticks which knocked the camera off and then almost chopped the camera up. And then I was unable to turn the mower off, so I had to smother it. I've got a manual, 
Can you can you suffocate it? Because the air filter fell off. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's Come it. On, stop! Stop! Kill it! Kill it! Stop! 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 Oh my god! Please. Stop! <laughs> no! Yes! Oh my! I mean, it works, but. It's not nice that we can't turn it off. <laughs> so close to killing that. Oh, so it fell off and then the battery and then it disconnected. So the first attempt was successful, but definitely had some things we could improve, like having an ability to turn off the mower. So Angus and I quickly took it apart to put the starter cord back on and to make it easier to stop. I hope this will work. I hope I'll be able to turn it off. I'll just stick my thumb inside. Please. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're enjoying seeing people make dumb robots, go check out Angus's YouTube channel, Maker's Muse. He has plenty of dumb robot things for you to look at. All right, once we finished that, we had a couple more goes of the lawnmower each, and 10 minutes later, we managed to cut like one quarter of the total grass in my yard, which does sound pretty bad time-wise. But if I compare the amount of effort I just expended to cut that amount of lawn, which was essentially me just twitching my finger, and a month of building, it was definitely less physical effort compared to pushing a lawnmower around. And the goggles actually give you a really unique, fun perspective, allowing you to see the grass that you needed to mow, while at the same time making you kind of feel like a little rat that was running around the garden. And I think it's an all right trim. Not the best, not the worst, but definitely still better than Bailey. Five, 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 five. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other stuff.